This video is titled Complex Angle Problems. And what we're going to do is we're going to take concepts that we learned in previous chapters and we're going to bring them all together and solve complex angle problems. Looking in the first row, we have our adjacent angles. So firstly, we have complementary angles and you'll notice that they have a right angle on them, meaning that when I add the angles up, it will equal 90 degrees. Next we have supplementary angles. Supplementary angles lie within a straight line, like so, meaning that when I add my angles up, they will equal 180 degrees. Next we have angles in a revolution. You will notice when I put all the angles together, they make a complete revolution, which means that if I add them up, they will equal 360 degrees. Down at the bottom right, we have something called vertically opposite angles. This occurs when two lines intersect at a point, and you will notice that angles that are opposite each other will be the same. The last three concepts we're going to look at involve parallel lines, and when we covered this topic, we spoke about making the letters F Z and C. So looking at the first one, corresponding angles, you'll notice that we get an F shape when we draw around the angles. And that means that they are equal to each other. So if the angle above was 100 degrees, the angle below would also be 100 degrees. Next we have alternate angles, which make a Z shape. So when I draw around the angles, it makes a Z shape, that means that they are equal as well. So if this angle on the right was 80 degrees, the angle on the left would also be 80 degrees. Finally, we have co-interior angles, which make a C shape. So when I draw around the angles, it looks a bit like the letter C. This one's slightly different because rather than being the same, they add up to make 180. That concludes our video, just summarizing the seven concepts we have learned already. Remember to look at the description below if you would like a link to a worksheet related to this video.